Sponsored by Audible. Go to audible.com slash cow or text the word cow to 500-500 to get a free audiobook today. I think that we all understand that when it comes to homeschooling, there are levels. You've got sheltered homeschoolers, homeschoolers who want to think they're not sheltered. I, I guess those are the main two. Look, we all know what I mean when I say levels of homeschoolers, but in case you don't, we came up with a very fun quiz. If you want to know how homeschooled you were, just Grab a piece of paper, follow along, keep track of your score as we go. So first things first, let's talk about the arts, AKA Harry Potter. I know the new hotness is to think Harry Potter is super controversial, but homeschoolers have found the old HP problematic <laughs> since this whole thing got started. So if you've never read or, or watched Harry Potter, give yourself a point. If you've made a big deal about when you saw Harry Potter as an adult because you were under the false impression this makes you super edgy, give yourself three points. And if you quietly watched it at some point and tried to pass it off like you had seen it when you were younger, give yourself two points. Are you gonna tell us your answers, Jordan, or? I'll reveal my answers at the end. <laughs> okay, sorry that we had to start with Harry Potter, I know, but it, it was crucial to the homeschool experience whether you watched it or not. Every year those movies came out, and every year you had to come up with a new excuse. Hey, we're all gonna go see Deathly Hallows Part 1. You in? <laughs> part 1? I thought you told me that this was the last book! Well, it is, but they decided to split it up into two movies. Are you kidding me?! A money grab? I'm running out of excuses. I've only got one year to come up with another excuse, dude. What are you thinking? I cannot go. Well, um, no, I can't. No, I can't go. Okay, next up, another controversial topic, math. If you did math courses on a video or on the internet, one point. If you taught yourself math and you actually did it, three points. If your loving father personally taught you math and it was always at the end of the night when he got home from work, two points. Next up, transportation. What kind of car did your family drive? One point for a sedan, two points for a minivan, and three points for a 15 passenger van. It should be 15 points for that, but we'll give you three. <laughs> Next up, extracurriculars. Let's talk about co-op. As in, were you in a co-op? If no, one point. If yes, two points. And if you were in more than one co-op because you had different friend groups, then three points. Three. Speaking of friendships, that's the next topic. How did you make friends? Just give yourself a point for each one of these that apply to you. Church, youth group, if at a different location than your normal church, the internet, 4-H, boy or girl scouts, co-op? Notice I didn't include your job on that list because <laughs> I know you're not friends with those sinners. Okay, next up, science. Did playing outside and noticing nature count as science for the day? If yes, one point. If no, two points. And if you think this joke paints homeschoolers in a bad light and you're strangely triggered by it, <laughs> three points. Oh, three points for the snowflake. So triggered. Next topic, debate. Have you ever pwned a homeschool hater by pointing out how well homeschoolers do at national spelling bees? If so, that's a whopping five points. <laughs> Come on, guys. This is the only bragging you should be doing. And if you got that joke, then give yourself another three points. Next up, communication. As in, in the last year, how many messages did your mom get from other moms interested in homeschooling all of a sudden? Just give yourself a point for every single mom that, that called your mom. Finally, language. Did you say bad words? Now, this one's a little tricky because if you said bad words, it can mean you're less homeschooled, but it can also mean that you're the most homeschooled of all. <laughs> and I can't really trust you to score this accurately. Okay, tell you what, how about this? On a scale of one to five, rate this yourself. How edgy did you feel when you, when you said a bad word or when you say bad words? Give yourself that many points. <laughs> Well, just like true homeschoolers, we rushed through all of our subjects as fast as we could, and now we're checking the answer key. Let's tally our scores, shall we? If you scored seven or fewer, you're public schooled, okay? You're not fooling anyone around here. You just, you, you took this test to see how you do. It's okay, you're welcome here, just don't lie next time. Eight to 12 points means you are a home schooler? I'm still not really buying it, but I guess it's possible. 13 to 17 points means you're PAPS, a word Josh made up that stands for pass as a public schooler. As in, if you don't say anything, nobody knows anything. 18 to 22 points, self-aware homeschooler. You know what you're about, you don't hide it, but you don't flaunt it either. I'm assuming that's where Josh landed so he could make himself in that. So we'll see if I do. 
23 to 26 points, homeschooled and proud. <laughs> this is when you have people in your neighborhood who haven't even met you and somehow they know you're homeschooled. And finally, 27 or more points, the most homeschooled of all homeschoolers. You have ascended to another realm, another reality, the rare breed of homeschooler who makes other homeschoolers say, yeah, I'm homeschooled, but not like that guy floating in the clouds right there. He's, he's so majestic. Some say he's already enrolled in college courses. Whoa. I know that Josh did this so that I would be a 19. Uh, so you are self-aware homeschooler. That's exactly where I wanted to be. I think I got 20. 20? So you're more self-aware than me. <laughs> Maybe you were a little more comfortable with the cuss words. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Comment down below. I want to know where you guys landed on this scale. I'm honestly curious. And don't hide, okay? If your score is low, that's fine. It's high, that's fine. Okay, if you're right in the middle, that's fine too. <laughs> Let us know. Now guys, if you haven't heard yet, Audible has launched something called their Plus Catalog, which is basically just a ton of content available on demand. And you don't have to spend credits on them. Audiobooks, podcasts, meditation, the things that help you sleep, they have everything on there. So how Audible works is that each month you get one credit good for any title in their entire premium selection. Anything you want to listen to, they have it. Plus, pun intended, you also get the Plus Catalog. Thousands and thousands of audiobooks and more. More, all available to download at your fingertips. So whatever you're in the mood for, they're your playlist for life. I just started listening to The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. I somehow have never actually listened to or read The Hobbit, so I'm really glad to finally be doing it. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm ashamed, but I'm doing if it now. You, if, you, if you like Josh, you gotta check it out. Audible is the leading provider of spoken word entertainment and audiobooks, ranging from bestsellers, new releases, and more, like original entertainment, guided fitness, and it's just so much more, guys. Audible has so much goodness, and now with the Plus catalog, it's even more of a no-brainer. So if you want a 30-day free trial to check out Audible, go to audible.com slash cow or text cow to 500 500 that's audible.com slash cow or text cow to 500 500 all right let's find out how homeschooled my 38 week pregnant wife was <laughs> i don't think i made a big deal about it but in my head it was a big deal <laughs> <laughs> then there's a joke where jordan says that the only bragging you should be doing is apple cider vinegar oh, if you get that joke give yourself three points right, okay three points <laughs> On a scale of one to five, how edgy do you feel when you say bad words? And whatever number that is, give yourself that many points. <laughs> uh, maybe like a three. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 22. 22. 22. Hey, 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 hey. Gonna get us demonetized over there. <sighs> All right. Uh, you're a self-aware homeschooler. You know what you're about. You don't hide it, but you don't flaunt it either. That sounds about right. <laughs> 